Now then guys, how are you doing? We're back again for an, what is another Betfred Cup final. Absolutely loving it. So the Betfred Cup final against Celtic. Looking at the past winners, you know, we've won four on the bounce. We've been there or there bounce. That defeat against Kilmarnock, that was a crippler, wasn't it? You know, I think, what did we lose? 1-0 there and we just couldn't do anything about it. We were done by them. But yeah, we've won the last four on the bounce. This will be my last Betfred Cup final. So I want to end it with a win. Obviously, we have had games between episodes that I just want to go through quickly. As we had a 2-0 victory over Rangers away from home. 13 shots, 5 on target. They actually managed 5 shots on target as well. But Van Ugin with 2 goals there. And then quite a bizarre win against Hearts. Bizarre because Horobine scored two goals. Now, when was the last time I spoke about Horobine scoring a goal? And he's played 47 games for us, so 46 before that game. And he'd never scored a league goal for us, and he scored two in the same game. That is mental. So, Kieran Horobine with his first goals for Hearts. He's got nine caps for Scotland now as well. What player he is, and still a wonder kid. So Celtic's journey to the final looked like it's a 3-1 victory over Dundee, then a 3-2 extra time victory over Aberdeen. They beat Hibs 2-0 in the semi-final and we take them on in the final. We had that 3-0 extra time victory over Falkirk, you know, 3-0 in extra time. It was an absolute shambles, their keeper was inspired in that game. But then a more conclusive 4-0 victory over Hamilton, and then an extra time victory, Albanos with a goal against Rangers. So we've struggled a little bit, I would say, two extra time victories to get us through, but Celtic now... And now they're standing in our way for our fifth consecutive Betfred title. So here we go then. Hamden Park again. Absolutely loving a game at Hamden Park. As Hibs have had a little bit of turning fortune and now up to eighth. Did not want that. I was opening this last season that Hibs would go down. But I think that fairy tale's over now. So team selection wise we're going to play like this then with Lietz in goal. Lietz playing for this game. You know, cup final for him with Ramirez, Hidalgo, Tassinowski and Juan Cuarto at the back. Ayo, Deli and Croman in the middle with Hadidi and Stahl out wide and then Court and Albanoz up front. Signorelli not even on the bench. He's jaded and he needs a rest. So here we go then from the social roundup. Wayne Haynes says Tassinowski starting and that's good. And Aston Maguire says it's Stahl starting. It's a terrible call. No, it's not. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do to keep this run going. And here we go. Hamden then. Big, big game. Iodelli and Croman in the middle. You know, it's not a combination that we use very often. As we march our way out onto the pitch. Their mind is in a tracksuit. Sacrilegious in a cup final. That. Even I put the shirt and tie on. So corner ball then. A star with it in. Caught with the header and it's just over the bar. We could have had an early goal then to settle the nerves. As we've had four shots and two on target in the first five minutes. 58% possession. Celtic now having a shot, but they've not hit the target with it, fortunately, because when they do, there'll be a highlight, I'm sure. Madison in goal for them is on a 7 rating already. Let's encourage the team as I've got an injury. Stahl is injured. Van Ugen coming on. What's the problem? Potential foot injury. Let's hope that's not like a broken foot. As we carry on then, Flynn Knoll's being booked on two minutes. Like I say, Stahl's injury. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. We've had seven shots, three on target, 54% possession. As Harrison Lopez has got a card for them. But there's nothing happened in this first half. That early highlight, as we go into two minutes of stoppages, and there we go, half-time, not great. Keep going, lads. We can still win this one. And the change at half-time, then. Ayo Delhi is probably going to come off for me. Horobine will come on. Croman needs to do a little bit more, I think. I don't think we need to make too many more changes. We've already had a force one. Taxi now is going to 6.5. Why? We've not seen anything from Celtic at all. Corner ball, then. Hadidi in 47 minutes. Ball in. is cleared away. He's onside as well. Hidalgo with the goal at the back post. I had to look at the linesmen. The flag stayed down and we get the goal. And we go 1-0 up, two minutes into the second half. It's cleared away. Van Ugin with a quick header. Hidalgo's there. The keeper's sprawling and he can't get to it. But we go 1-0 up. As we're getting close to the hour mark, there is a highlight. Highlight for Celtic. Get ready. Andrade to Stanley. We dive in though. It's a great tackle. Here we go. Albanoz in possession. It's loose and Van Ugen picks it up. He's going to lose out then. It was a poor pass. It was a dangerous pass. Ball across to Stanley. Van Ugen back though to recover. And Juan Cuarto just boots it forward. And Albanoz is chasing it into the corner. Go on, lad. Oh, no low. Albanoz again. Muscles him off. Court has got to. What a save from the keeper. What a save from Madison. Tips it onto the bar. It's a worldy of a save. As we get past the hour mark then, for me, oh, there's a highlight coming. We don't make changes when highlights happen. So Fabio Andrade then to Hadidi. Turnbull there. As we don't pressure him. There we go there. Ramirez heard me morning. Complaining about the lack of urgency. And Ramirez is on his way now. My left back. Oh, 
I was going to say. What is he doing there? But Croman, and there you go. We sorted out 2 0 on 63. I thought the chance had gone. Croman runs in, slots it away, come out of nowhere. As Ramirez finds himself one on one with the goalkeeper. It's a big save from Madison in goal. But he pulls the ball back. Look, Croman there. Smells blood, finishes it off. Right, so let's make some more changes then. I've got one more to make. Where is the change, really? Hadidi's done. Dusak on. Confirm the substitution. Let's go. Ramirez had a decent game with four key passes. One clear cut chance as well. As Clark with the free kick over the bar. No danger there. Right, Horobine's going to get a card, is he? The classic yellow card for Horobine. It's a token gesture, isn't it, really? Let's be honest. As Clark then with the free kick. Oh, it's off the bar. What a save from Lietz. There we go. We've had a world from our keeper as well. Lietz doing the business there. Taskanowski is still on a 6.4. But it looks like we're going to keep a clean sheet in this one. And Lietz has done well to keep that free kick out. So we've got two minutes of stoppages. And I reckon that is it. And full time, my last Betfred Cup final. And we win it 2-0. It was conclusive, I'll be honest. You know, Celtic had a couple of chances. But I don't think it was ever in doubt. We were definitely the stronger team there. Celtic were pending for a lot of it. Croman wrapped it up, obviously coming out of nowhere. But solid performance. Another bit of silverware. And that's the fifth one on the bounce. Go on, let's get that trophy lifted. It's absolutely smashing it down as well. Classic British weather there. And there we go. So what do I tell the guys then? Congratulations. You know, there was a bit about there saying that we'd struggle against the better side. Celtic, obviously, the best side in the league. And how the media reacted then. So Macaulay Wells says, Florian Ramirez was peerless out there. Helped Hearts absolutely dominate. Pat Hamilton says, absolutely delighted with that result. Jack Laidlaw says, Ramirez, you are just sublime. And that's a double already, so we've already got two bits of silverware this season. In the league, then Dundee drew 0-0 with Hamilton. Hibbs 0-0 with St. Johnson. Kilmarnock 2-2 with Mowell. And Dundee United with a 4-0 victory against Queen's Park, who drop to bottom of the league. Hard to celebrate a double. Like I say, we've already won the Super Cup and the Betfred Cup so far this season. Star is out for three to five weeks with a twisted ankle. So we won't see him until the back end of January. Not ideal. Hearts lift the Betfred Cup. We get 389k for the win. Pacelli declared one of the best ever. Fantastic. Sutar Hills, true Hearts legend. Where is Sutar? Oh, he just retired in. We've looked at him before, I'm sure. Hearts manager plays the board with the win. Ramirez is on form. With the assist, obviously, missed the earlier opportunity. And Hadidi under close scrutiny. We're all right. Hadidi's not going anywhere. Nothing to worry about. So there we go then, guys. Another bit of silverware as we continue to dominate the Scottish League. So where are you going to join me next then? So for me, obviously, we're getting quite far into it now. We've already smashed this group. We know that there's an opportunity for us to finish second. But I still think we'll beat Leon. So we're probably going to come back at the back end of January. So there's plenty of games to be played off screen. We'll come back for Rangers. There might be a bit of deadline day drama as I'm reckoning a lot of my players' heads are going to be turned. I can't imagine me strengthening now as financially. I don't want to take a risk. We've only got 1.4 million in the overall balance. However, we've still got 166 million in the transfer budget. So I'm not worried in that respect. But yeah, we'll probably come back at the end of January for that game against Rangers. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, it's been emotional. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.